Abba Father explains, Overcoming Evil with a Praising and Grateful Heart October 26, 2016 Words from Abba Father to Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, May the encouragement and love of God be with us all as we face the challenges of the day. Today as I came into prayer, Abba Father didn't waste any time. He began, I am not angry or displeased with you, little Claire. I started to feel choked up with emotion because I was so grateful. These hateful feelings of inadequacy are not from me or my son. They are from demons, so cast them off, beloved daughter. Daddy, please deliver my heart and mind from these bitter thoughts. Take them away, I pray. Please take them away. I want to have a worshipful heart. Yes, this is where I'm taking my body, into continual praise and worship. It is so easy for you to forget all I've done for you and not give thanks on a daily basis, especially when you are feeling sick. I asked him, would you please restore me so I can work? Because I was feeling really weak and out of it totally out of it, and he answered. You were right to see part of this as a suffering, because it is, but I can help you carry this in my strength. Part of this is your schedule shift. That will fade away in the next few days, but until then it is a good offering. You are tired, in fact you are exhausted. You are carrying a burden, yet a little while and it will be lifted. In the meantime, know that what you are carrying is important to me. You see, there is no strength greater than praise in times of adversity. I am readying you all to carry your crosses with dignity and strength, not hauntingly, lamely or crushingly. I need for you all to stand tall in the coming month as you carry that which I will allow. I want you to be beacons of my light, emissaries of my sun, shining in the darkness of fear, terror and scrutiny as well as doubt. I want you to carry faith, hope, love and the brilliant light of my crucified son, who walked in love through all his dark ordeals. You are the light bearers, since the one who was called turned away to embrace the darkness, and now scorns my dignity and power. Now we have many light bearers, the seed which fell to the ground and died brought forth a notion of light bearers, and since this is the hour of increasing darkness, your lights shall shine even more. But to keep your torch from going out, you must cultivate a habit of worship, thanksgiving and praise every moment of the day. O oh dear Lord, how can I do that? I'm feeling so weak in my body. This is a supernatural gift I will impart to those who ask. I'm asking you, Father God, please give me a double or triple portion of the light so I can help others. You will have what you need, Claire, but you must be vigilant to protect and increase it, because 
Every effort will be made by the evil ones to steal it from you. Right now, you are but a flicker. I want to ignite you as his glorious bride, but you must believe. You must believe that we have overcome the darkness, that you are commissioned, that you are needed, that there will be battles, there will be casualties, but you will not be overcome. I will restore, reinvigorate, resparkle you in my presence. Practicing this praise is what will erect a strong wall of authority before you, wherever you go. Have you not heard that I inhabit the praises of my people? How then can you be overcome if you are praising me? Father, can you explain to me what constitutes praise? First off, thanksgiving, a humble heart of gratitude for even the littlest blessing, and then recognizing in ever-widening circles that I have provided for you and blessed you to the very core of your being. Begin always with an attitude of profound gratitude. Nothing overcomes evil like a thankful heart. There is no foothold for the enemy to enter and sow seeds of bitterness, which later choke out life. Once you have connected with that gratitude, give voice to it. Simply thank me. Oh, how I love to hear. Thank you, Father from my children. So few return to thank me. Most are thinking about what else they want and do not yet have. Even as scripture has it, they lust after things for their own pleasure. This is a very easy trap to get into, as you well know. It begins small, just like a seed of barrenness. It is a seed of avarice and greed. It is easily justifiable, because there is always something you can claim to need, yet you have more than enough. There is a certain false sense of security when you acquire and have things, many things. It seems as though you are more secure, but in reality, you are more tied down and tethered to the earth and your passions. Distraction comes with this seed and soon it is nearly impossible to pass even a few moments without thinking about what new thing you must have. It is a fast-growing cancer whose remedy is only in self-denial and gratitude. A heart of satisfaction with what I have provided for you, and if it becomes blatantly obvious that more is needed, I will approach you. You need not approach me. I will speak to your heart in this way. I would like you to have so and so. There will be a peace accompanying it that is so very different from the lustful and burning suggestions and distracting desire and anxiety that avarice causes. But as you find joy in the little things in life, even in nature, which displays itself all around you, you begin to sing a song of gratitude in your heart. This is the beginning of praise, which needs to be nourished so that you may build a bulwark of honor to me all around you. Then I come to inhabit your praises, then the demons fear to come near lest they be singed by the flames of love that constantly burn the foolish things of the world away from the soul. To be caught up in my praises is one gigantic grace that only you can cultivate after I have given the grace. It is a constant 24-7 song of the heart, whether it is heard by the ear or heard only by the spiritual ears. 
I prefer that the sound waves penetrate the space you inhabit. They shatter strongholds and greatly suppress evil. Where demons once had an easy entry, now they must struggle, only to get closer to the source of praise that is indeed electrifying and damaging them. So many secrets are tied into praise, Claire. So many things are crumbled down. Self-pity finds no foothold. Grumbling and detracting are a come down in the presence of praise. Finding fault with others and demanding perfection of yourself and others. Oh, that simply doesn't happen in the heart filled with praise and thanksgiving. In fact, if there is something to note about another soul, it is their virtue, which inspires you to give even more thanks. I'm telling you, praise is a way of life that defeats every force and the guile of the enemy. It makes them depressed. Yes, something to laugh about, but I'm most serious. They are depressed when they hear you praise me. It means they are losing the battle for your mind. Ask me for this gift, my children, and then guard your hearts and use it as a way of life.